Hey everyone, my name is Matt McCool with Motion VFX, and we recently conducted a survey to gather some feedback from our DaVinci Resolve users. So first of all, thanks to everyone who participated in the survey. Your feedback is really going to help us plan the future and prioritize products and tutorials like the ones that I've been making for this channel. So this is going to be sort of a Q&A style video. We've compiled some of the most common questions and your feedback, and we're going to see if we can answer some of your questions. So starting off, we got a lot of questions about why don't we have as many DaVinci Resolve products available as we do for Final Cut Pro. I mean, yeah, if you go on our website, you will see that most of what we offer is for Final Cut Pro. There are a couple of products that work on both platforms, but you know, for the most part, a lot of it is going to be Final Cut Pro exclusive. So Motion VFX has about 15 years of experience developing for Final Cut Pro, and they really just got started with Resolve about two years ago, and this is right around the time when Blackmagic introduced the DRFX file system, and this is what has made it really easy for companies like us to provide tools for the user to easily install, uninstall, and update seamlessly without any hassle. Um, so it's kind of a new system as a whole, plus you know, there's the 15 years of catching up to do, and we really want to maintain the same level of quality across both platforms. We don't want to have a feature that comes out in Resolve and Final Cut Pro where maybe some of the tools are missing or they don't work as well. So we're just trying our best to maintain the same level of quality across both platforms. So kind of a similar question here. People want to know where mFlare and mObject and mTracker 3D are for DaVinci Resolve. So these are kind of more pro plugins and they actually do require a little bit more software coding under the hood. And if you think about it, Final Cut Pro only has to work on Apple, whereas DaVinci Resolve has multiple operating systems that it has to work on. And so it's exponentially more difficult to develop those tools for DaVinci Resolve. It is something we plan on doing in the future, but right now we're really prioritizing current developments before we can devote the time and research into these larger pro plugins. So we got another question here. I know it's not realistic, but I wish my Final Cut Pro plugin purchases gave me access to the DaVinci Resolve versions. I will likely not be leaving Final Cut Pro just because of the significant investment I've made in plugins. Yeah, so if you're a Final Cut Pro user and you're thinking about switching to Resolve, but you have a lot of our tools purchased for Final Cut Pro, just reach out to the team. Uh, they will happily give you a better price for those same tools in DaVinci Resolve. Just keep in mind that this is an additional team, additional workflow, additional hours, and so you can't just have one license that works for both platforms. It is additional work on our end, but you know we will happily give you a better price for those same tools. Uh, and this works both ways. If you're a Resolve user and you want to switch to Final Cut Pro, same thing. Just reach out to our support and we will gladly help you. I own a fully specced MacBook Pro, however the performance suffers heavily when using your products and crashes occur frequently. It would be great if there could be product updates more regularly in order to improve user experience. So we're always trying to optimize our packs as best we can, and we even go back and revisit older packs to try to figure out a more streamlined way to create the same effect or title, but we're still using the native tools inside of Fusion, and so we can't really defy the inherent limitations of Resolve itself, and some of these tools are carried over from the old legacy Ion days. But unfortunately, some of these older tools inside of Fusion aren't really designed to work on newer generation hardware yet. So until Blackmagic can update their tools inside of Fusion, uh, we will also update our packs to work with this uh, newer generation hardware. But right now we're kind of just trying our best to optimize things as best we can. We had some people ask about the Linux version of ImInstaller. So as of right now, we don't have one, but uh, all of our packs will still work on Linux. So all you have to do is reach out to the team, you know, let us know what packs you uh, want, and we will happily send you over the packs in a different format that will work on your Linux machine. I also want to learn how to fully maximize the uses of each tab. What are the 20% of things I need to know to get 80% of the use of it all? I would say it really just depends on what kind of videos you're trying to create. And if you're new at editing in general, or if you're just new at DaVinci Resolve, because if you're new at editing, then I would say, you know, focusing on audio, 
is gonna be really important. That's gonna teach you pacing and balance and people will notice poor audio quality more than they will notice poor visual quality. So when it comes to editing, I think audio is by far the most important thing to master early on. But if you're just new at DaVinci Resolve, we do have the DaVinci Resolve Academy on our website. It's a little bit incomplete right now, but we're planning on releasing some more lessons specifically on the color page and the fusion page. Um, but yeah, I would just focus on you know learning some color color management basics because having a solid foundational understanding of color management will make it a lot easier to learn those more advanced technical uh, coloring techniques. You know, so just learning how nodes work together on the color page. And similarly with Fusion, I would dip your toes a little bit in Fusion. Don't be afraid of it. You don't even have to become a professional VFX compositor, artist, or whatever. Just like understand how nodes connect in the order. Like a mask affects the merge and how things kind of like flow together. So that should kind of set you up for success in the long run. So hopefully that answers your question. Thank you guys so much for participating in the survey. Again, uh, your feedback is going to be extremely valuable to us and we do plan on doing a lot more for the Resolve community. Got a lot more planned so stick around. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting us. Thanks for trusting us and we will see you in the next video.